and guest. Welcome, everybody, to this final, I guess, bonus episode of Miles Edge, Your Face Attorney Investigations to Prosecutor's Path. I figured we would just take this time to uh, discuss our final thoughts with the game and our final thoughts with the series in general. Yeah, that would kind of be a two-parter. Who would have thought that me just randomly asking you, "Hey, Marty, want to record Freddy Fish One together?" would turn it all the way I, down this road? Once I found out you were making videos, I was like, "I want to do this," but you were kind of like, mm, mm. <laughs> like kind of like I don't know about this and then like once we did that like people seemed to enjoy it and you really enjoyed it and so mm -hmm. it just kind of went from there and I wanted to play these games I'm just kind of at least when I was younger way too dumb to play these right. games I would not have been able to do them so clearly if, if you've noticed mm -hmm. how crazy my theories are I'm, I'm a little interesting when I play this game but oh, it's so oh, much but fun if we, if we ever were to play like if there was a new Ace Attorney game to come out and we played it blind at the same time I would also get be crazy like, be like, as well. I don't know maybe this is happening well especially if they're playing Clannad there are some weird veins that can oh, happen yeah. in games apparently oh but yeah anyway. just in case you're wondering the, we, the, he just finished let's play Clannad yeah that was a fun one <laughs> and um I don't know when this is getting uploaded but years from now Ooh, anyhow anyway so now that Marty's kind of had some time to like process and digest the whole game I'm kind of yeah. curious to hear what her final thoughts are and I want her to say her final thoughts before I kind of say my right. final thoughts well, on I where brought, I like this game I brought notes <laughs> yes because I can't remember anything and so I wrote down notes about all of the games not just Edgeworth 2 because I don't really know where they rank in my right. head of all the different ones. So let's... The first part of this video, I think we'll just talk about Edgeworth 2. Edgeworth 2. So right. what, what did you think of this game as a whole? I thought it was really cool how a, literally every single case leads into the next one, into the next one. Mm -hmm. They all relate. They're all important. Yeah. Because um, that they don't always do that with every Ace Attorney game. This is the only one that actually does that. I feel like there's a few games where they'll be like, oh, like, remember when... Like... Okay, Phoenix Wright 3 Trials does and tribulations. that yeah. with a lot of, like, all of them are relating to each other. They don't no, immediately not lead quite. in. Obvi okay, there's a couple that don't. Really. Every game has at least one filler case, not this one. True. This I guess does not have a filler case. You could case. argue the first Edgeworth game doesn't have a filler case, but it basically did. Like, the third case barely tied in the, at all. Yeah. And then this, this game, everything tied in, which is super cool. To the point where it almost made it difficult to be like, okay, well, this person's fine. Or this mm -hmm. person's off the hook. Like, after a while, I was like, oh, this is getting interesting with yeah. how it's all lined together. I, I know everybody liked the third case, but you did I not. did not. I liked it when you were in the past. Mm -hmm. I liked when you were Mr. Miles Edgeworth. No, Mr. Gregory. Ma Gregory. Sorry. I Atticus can't Finch. <laughs> Atticus Finch. Yes! He's literally like that. And I really enjoyed that part, but, like, going back and forth, and it was so long for... Only, like, it was so overly complicated for me that, like, mm -hmm. even once we got to the final case with, like, all of the stuff happening. By the way, this should be uh, pretty obvious, but there are a million spoilers in this. Why are this you watching? This is at the end. This, this is, is final end. thoughts Why of Edge of 2. Of course it's going to spoil it. But, you know, um, yeah, but after, like, getting through all that and having it be, like, um, mm, Simon Keys is, like, the son of the pastry yeah, man Gustavia. and, like, all of that, where I'm, like, I knew that the kids would come back into play. Like, mm -hmm. I knew that had to come back into play. I didn't know it would with a circus boy. Right. And I also was, like, okay, but they could have made this case way shorter than it needed to be. Right. I feel like all of the things in the past they either could have explained with, like, flashbacks mm -hmm. or, like, maybe recorded things. It would be interesting if it's, like... Edgeworth goes to the offices and, like, Gregory Edgeworth kept, like, recorded tape notes of everything or like he a discovered. Diary or something. Like a diary where it's like, oh, this is what we found and these are all the things. I understand it's, like, way better to, like, mm -hmm. go in and right. actually do everything, but I think that would have been a bit, lot better to keep the freaking case moving because I felt like we were there for months and months and months. Right. Um, Makes sense. I think what else. I did really, this was the first game where I was like, first case, solid. Liked it a lot. First case it's blew me really, away, yeah. It's really epic. You're like, okay, they're starting the game with Shelly to kill her. <laughs> where are they going to go with this? Yeah. And then, I mean, other than Lotta and Lotta, Lotta 2. <laughs> yeah. Um, other than that, like everything else was really cool. And again, you wouldn't think the first case would have any impact on the rest of the game. 
I, on the contrary, starting with Trials and Tribulations, it's usually only the first case that has an impact on the rest of the game. Really? So in Trials and Tribulations, like the first case, the Dahlia one, that led into the main plot. The Mask to Mask and Trabion cases did not, really. No, they did not. Uh, in Apollo, the first case had Christoph Gavin. That was really important oh, towards right. the end I was game like... as well. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and then Edgeworth, I guess Edgeworth won Basketball Get Boy. Basketball. played a little bit of not a plot. Really. Not really. It was not mostly really. just cases four and five that were I don't that. usually think, though, like, I'm going to go into the game, like, the first case is going to be one of the best ones. Well, because you're always like, oh, yeah, first case, it's only trial. But for this one, it was, like, only investigation. This one is only investigation. And that's, like, part of what makes it exciting and different with <laughs> also, the Miles the Edgeworth Also, the president games. was great. The president's great. <laughs> or body double like, president. off everybody. Um... <laughs> But at the same time, and again, this is my same gripe from the first Edgeworth game too. Why did we have Kay? I just, I just like all of yep. the other people better. I wish we had Emma. Well, we or, had Emma a little bit. We have Emma a little bit. I don't know. Or like Gumshoe. Gumshoe could be your partner at all times. Right. Like, I feel like that Well, we kind of had that in the first Edgeworth and, game. And again, oh, Kay bit, was actually. important in this. Only really in case four. And, and case five. What did she do in case five? She distracted Simon Keys for like literally sixty evidence. seconds while we fought. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Also, she found um. Child John Marsh. Gumshoe found him with he, Kay. They were together though. They probably had to put their brains together because they <laughs> their brains together make up one. So, <laughs> wow. So <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the second case was cool too, with like all the animals in the prison. Yeah. And again, that was the first case where I was like, oh cool. Kay closed like we caught the marshal awesome we don't need to worry about her and then later it's like oh marshal mm, well look yes. at all these crazy things that are happening like yeah it, it, it was very cool to see how everything mm -hmm. blended together case four what did you so that was the black oh that's reaction. the k almost dies one um yeah. i mean and this kind of, this piggybacks off of another thing. You start the game and you're like, Ugh, I don't like this stupid kid with the wind waker. I don't like, like Sebastian. I don't yeah. like Sebastian. I don't like Courtney. You get to this case and you're like, Ooh, I, I feel, feel bad. bad for Sebastian. Yeah. I feel bad for calling him all these things. Yep. Because his his dad is like a jerk face butt of existence. His, his dad is top two or three most evil characters in the franchise. I would say. I, yeah, it's like. I'll get more on that when I start talking. Literally, <laughs> like the worst. But it's fun, too, because, like, isn't that the case that we caught him? No, we caught yeah. him in the fifth case. Well, we caught him in that case, and then we basically caught him again for even more stuff in the fifth yeah. case. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, it just keeps building on itself. And right. the more and more you go through the fifth case, the more and more you're like, this guy's a jerk, and this guy did all this crazy stuff and doesn't mm -hmm. care about his son, and, like... Yeah. I did like the chess. Logic chess. Logic chess. We didn't have that in the first no, game. No, we did not. What do we have in the first game? Just logic. Just logic. Just logic. That's it. Okay, yeah. This makes it a lot cooler. I love. Oh, logic and chess. and I guess first game also had Little Thief, which oh, was I used, miss, I miss which Little was used Thief. more in that than it did, was in I the do second. I Little Thief. We used it three times in the second game, and it really only one time was it actually cool when we were investigating like the SS five incident. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, K almost dies. Like again. And this is because I only played through it the first time. There mm -hmm. were so many things like popping out where it's like, this is foreshadowing, but you don't know that yet. Yes. Or like, these are all the things that are happening behind the scenes and you don't know it yet. Mm -hmm. um, that's really, really, really interesting. And again, I feel like I didn't appreciate a lot of these cases until I got to the final case where it wrapped yes. everything up. Yes. That's the... It's something that I enjoyed, but also didn't enjoy. Because mm -hmm. while I was going through it, I'm like, why are we doing this? Like, why do we have to do British Bake Off? Like, <laughs> why Why is Kay, like, losing her mind? Why did this girl die for no apparent reason? Like, there were so many unknowns mm -hmm. that were very annoying that normally got wrapped up in, like, yeah. you know, the, the case or something. Probably right. played part of why I liked the second case, even though it wasn't. It had a very complete up. feeling, even it though there was feeling. still a couple things. And that's one of the reasons why I like the second case so much. Yeah, it's it's a good thing. It's its own case, but it also fits very well in the larger whole. And Shelly the Killer just creeping around being like, ooh, well, isn't that interesting? Just like, mm -hmm. ex observing everything. Just like, I already know everything. I already know everything. It's like, that's <laughs> Have just... you figured it out, Edgeworth? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just interesting and funny. Mm -hmm. And... Even though there were characters brought back like Lada, it still felt good. Yeah. Like, normally I see Lada, I'm like, gosh darn it, can you get out of here? And I still kind of felt like that a little bit. 
But um, every character had a purpose. Yes. Every single character. It wasn't just like, I'm the throwaway character that's getting married. Even random, like, nurse lady in the fourth case yes. had yeah, a Yeah, nurse lady had a role. And, um... Karen um, Jensen. Um, the lady... I guess you could argue, like, With Will Powers didn't have that much of a purpose. Well, I forgot about him. And Donkey Kong, basically. I forgot about Will Powers was in the... Yeah. But again, if you hadn't played the games where he was in it, mm -hmm. you would naturally assume that he might be... Like, he's a big guy. He yeah. might be able to do some damage. Um... But after playing all the games, I'm like, well, they brought back Lada. They brought back Will him. Powers. They brought, brought back Penny, Penny, Penny and Regina. And Regina. It's probably not any of them. But the nice thing is it also introduced so many new characters that you st it was still like, I don't know who did it. Like, yeah. could be a bunch of different people. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's my general thoughts. I can jump in. Uh, we, case 5? Oh, case 5. Oh, case, that's case, like the case big five. one. <sighs> yeah. Case 5 was the one where I was like, it's Simon Keats. I don't know how I feel about this. And then once he got insane, and, like, you kind of saw more of his backstory, I'm like, I kind of like this. Yeah. But it's weird, because I went from, like, oh, this stupid, dopey, monkey kid. <laughs> wimp kid. Wimp kid that I didn't like at all. Like, that He's was... so bland. In the second case, I was just like, can we just hurry up and get done with this? I don't like this. But... Even then, like, you, s I remember seeing all these things in the second case where I'm like, a lot of this evidence does, like, go to him, which is really weird. <laughs> yeah. Like, normally when you're defending stuff, it's like, um, this person didn't put fingerprints on the mantras where if it's like, oh, you're I'll stupid. <laughs> oh, but look at this. <laughs> that, what if he was wearing gloves? That makes gloves? no sense at all. <laughs> oh, I win. <laughs> yeah, like, it's like a lot of that where it's like, this is, like, we know this person's innocent. Mm -hmm. The only few occasions that that wasn't the case was, like, Matt on guard. Yeah. Matt on guard was like not innocent whatsoever. And then what were, were He was basically any others? Simon was Matt on guard 2.0 oh, better oh, I'd and, say. And um I hate her so much uh Dahlia. Oh yeah. You Dahlia hate Dahlia. Is Dahlia oh. your most hated character? I think it's just because I know so many people like her. Not like like her. No, that kill like people. not more, but like who use their good but looks like, to Yeah. Yep. Use their good looks, their charm, words. <laughs> their obobs. <laughs> sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> their obobs. Yeah. So, uh, I, did you want to talk more um, about Case 5? Because I know there I was a like lot. I did like John Marsh. He was interesting. Okay. Um, Sebastian's Sebastian, character development. Sebastian's. Oh, when he stood up to his <laughs> father oh it was so good it just felt um again complete because you're yes. like you go from this character's dumb and stupid it's like what we wanted gurgi to be <laughs> <laughs> it's like what we wanted gurgi to be you're like this stupid scrappy character i hate him so I much, so much. So he like dies you're like yes <laughs> and then he comes back and you're why you should have gotten the sword you should have but, but simon actually did get better i'm like gurgi <laughs> <laughs> not simon Oh, it's not Sebastian. Sebastian. Simon, Simon, Simon got worse. <laughs> yeah, but that's like kind of how I would compare it mm -hmm. in the best of terms. Like and Sebastian gets a lot better. You so does Courtney. Courtney. But again, what, again, if I were to replay this game, you see so much of her. Like, I think once the second case hit, I was like, someone's controlling her mm -hmm. in some capacity or way. Either or she's, she's not the mastermind. Or she's not the mastermind behind everything because. She's like, oh, the PIC, blah, 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 blah. Pain like, in charge. Always, yes, pain in charge. I was like, okay, she's a member of it. That doesn't mean she's the leader of it, which probably means it, it's kind of like, especially at first, it was like Umbridge. Yeah. Where it's like, she's pure evil, but also she's literally. No, no. <laughs> Courtney was never really pure evil. No, she's I'm saying Umbridge is. Oh, Umbridge, yeah. But she's doing that because of how she's taught the ministry, like, is almost, like, brainwashing her, where it's like, no, there is no war in Boston. I mean, um, we could go on and on about how that's not really the case of Umbridge, it's but that's fine. It's not entirely the case, but, like, she um, genuinely she, believed that there was nothing bad. She basically will use whatever her, whoever her employer is to, like, justify her cruel yeah, actions, basically. it's true, and it sucks. Courtney doesn't do that, but there's definitely, like, a mix of, like, I have to do this, even if I don't feel like this is a good idea because I'm a judge mm -hmm. and because this is the evidence, this is the blah, blah, blah versus it's a smart, like this is a smart judge versus like the, whoa, I, whoa. Guess, I guess this is good. Even though you don't have any evidence to back it up. Right. Like there's a lot of that too. Uh, but yeah, Courtney really improves over time. Ray's a great character. Ray shields. Um, yeah. 
I liked him a lot in the third case. Probably the thing I liked about the third case. Mm -hmm. um, Dogen. Dogen was a delight. <laughs> <laughs> the Palpatine voice helped yes, with that, I'm sure. Yes. Also, um, I know we've done this for a bit, but also just voicing all the random guards. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. The forensics team always has the same That's the coin that was in this area. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so exactly. Fun. Is, and, like, just the dumb things throughout the series of, like, oh, like, the forensics guy is taking, like, uh, senior photos of Francisca. Yeah. Francisca came back, too. That yeah. was awesome. I was excited. You weren't excited. You weren't expecting that, were you? I wasn't expecting that. And it just felt like everything was coming together. Oh, and, uh, wolf guy. Oh, Lane. Lane. <laughs> uh, he, like, does that. <laughs> Lane Z says, Lane Z my says. name is Lane. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he w it was nice to see him again, too. Mm -hmm. It was nice to see Penny. Okay. There there were some archaic flair that was necessary. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah. I, I think if I were to make it, I wouldn't have made Simon Keys the who, Overlord. Who would you have made the Overlord? <sighs> I feel like I would have made... This sounds really weird. Probably someone from the third case. Probably someone... Well, Simon technically was in the third case. We just didn't know it at the time. Because he was the kid who I went would missing. Have, I would have made it either, like... What's the name of that weird lady that has, that doesn't age? Delisha. Delisha. Either, like, Delisha or actually the the maid lady. Catherine. Catherine. Paul. That might have been interesting. <laughs> Jeff Masters. He played everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Masters plays everyone. But again, it was an issue because I was like... I knew that throughout the series of this game like mm -hmm. there was some dude presumably a dude in like a red coat and yeah. it had to be in every single case and so that's why i was like i don't think it's delicia no she's too that would have come out of absolutely that would have come nowhere. out of nowhere and so i think it is brilliant the more and more i think about it mm -hmm. what they decided to pick but so how would you rate this? so now that you have all the games listed I have all the, the games how where do you rate this compared to the others Ooh, okay. I, you can to, see all I the have a pen well. here. I'm going to rank them like so because I don't know how else to rank. Are there five games? Wait, one, two, three. There are six four, games five, at this six. point. Six, okay. Because I already have my list in my head mm, of which ones I, I like. I know most. which one's my favorite as far as I can tell. Yeah. Second favorite game? I'm like looking at my notes here. Cause... Or I guess I guess we could come back to that. We could, or because that's could... more talking about the overall. If you want, games. you want to share your thoughts while I'm writing oh, some I stuff down. Oh, I have many thoughts. Okay, while so I'm writing some stuff so down. I've said this at the very beginning. This is my favorite Ace Attorney game, which really took me by surprise because I didn't play this until like when I was eighteen or nineteen. This was long after I'd played all the others. I basically was like, it never got translated to English. It's probably not very good. I didn't really like the first Edgeworth game, but I wanted to play it anyways because I have heard people say like, it's a big improvement over the first one. So I basically played it expecting it to be the same quality. And I, first case blew me away at how good it was. Like, holy cow. And again, I think I mentioned this before as well. Just the fact that all five of the cases are so interconnected, but also standalone is brilliant. It is really I also good. mentioned at, when we were kind of doing this for the first Edgeworth game, I basically said the first Edgeworth game had a really good idea with, like, having the overall... Like, it had traces of brilliance in it, but it just wasn't executed properly. Yeah. This is that executed properly. Like, the first Edgeworth game, they had, like, all the different cases that they tried to tie together, but it didn't really work. Where it's like, oh, yeah, that one guy from the first case was working for the big bad. Oh, yeah, the killer from the second case was working for the big bad. Oh, oh the guy in the third case, uh, his dad is part of a group who works for the big bad. bad. It's like, okay, well, yeah, there's not a whole lot of interconnectivity there. Whereas this game did it a whole lot better. Where it's like, oh, yeah, killer of the first case, really important to the overall story. Who would have thought? He was, like, a random security guard, but he actually was super important. The president... You thought he was just corrupt. No, he's actually like, a, a, like a, the body double who killed the real president, which was a crazy twist. It's it's kind of insane the things that they decide to do with this game. Yeah, it because really is. Like, oh yeah, the wimp guy from the second case who like, oh, you got him off the hook. So that means he's innocent. He's the one guy who like you prove innocent and then it turns out he actually was guilty. Even Ongard didn't do that. Mm -hmm. so I, I'll, I'll talk more about Simon Keys later, but I this is the only Ace Attorney game. There are no filler cases, and I like every single case in it. It's the only game that really? I like every single case in. You like in. every single case? I like every single case in this game. Some are weaker than others. Um, okay, so, 
First case, I think, is just almost flawless. I'm not a huge fan of Nicole, but I understand it was brilliant that they put her in because they could have just as easily put in Lotta Hart instead of Nicole here, and it yes. wouldn't really have changed. But the thing is, by having Nicole a new character, she is a suspect. If Lotta was in it, she would not be even a suspect because you're like, oh, she came back. She wouldn't do it. So that actually did add stuff, as well as the fact that I, on my first playthrough, I never saw Simon being the mastermind coming. I suspected it might have been Nicole. Really? Yes. Okay. Be and the reason for that is, like, you remember in the fifth case where, like, the Simon basically called us and was like, oh, can you, like, stop How me? Can you do this? And then, like, uh. Kay yelled into it, and then, like, Nicole was like, ah, my ears! Because she was, like, basically listening on the conversation. I'm like, was, was Nicole, like, calling us from right here and, like, talking about that? Yeah. And also, you, again, you she just seemed thought. she just seemed unnecessary on the whole. But actually, that little misdirection did add a lot to the story. President was a hilarious character. I guess Knightley, I'm not a huge fan of. But at least in the first case, I wasn't a huge fan of him. But, like, once he got an expanded role, like, oh, he's the victim in the second case. Oh, he's, like, best friends with the main villain. That's, like, oh, that's really like, cool. Really, like, yes. Yeah, so it's in hindsight really, really good. So I, I love the first case. The only reason I don't like it quite as much as first case in Apollo is because the the twist that Kristoff in Apollo was the evil was just too good. Like it was too good. Uh, so I really like that second case. Might is one of my favorites in the whole series. Again, <laughs> it's a standalone case, but it has such an important role in the overall story. Like it really does. Roland, like, because when you first catch Roland, you like, kind of feel sorry for her because you're like, oh my gosh, like, Dogen was, like, threatening her family. Like, what the heck? Like, she was just driven to it out of paranoia, but then it's actually, oh no, she was actually, like, pretty evil, and Dogen had a good reason for doing that. And just, like, all the twists and turns, it never feels boring. And there's a, and there's a ton of different there's suspects. There's so much happening. Because they're like, it, I mean, it could be Simon, but I don't think so. Like, it's probably Dogen. Like, I guess Frank saw it. He's already a murderer. It could be him. Like, it also could be the like the boxer guy, or it could be the like the warden. Like, it, there's a whole lot to it. Um, so third case, I'm gonna echo your thoughts. It was too long. And what what I would have done for the third case, I would have had all of the Gregory parts at the beginning, and then all of the edge the Miles Edgeworth parts. Instead of breaking it up, because that kind of ruined the flow of things. And you you should have done all the Gregory parts first, and half of the Edgeworth stuff you could have cut out. Like all the stuff where it's like, hey, Edgeworth, let's explore the Autumn Palace. Okay. Like, oh, let's have logic chess with Larry Butts. Like, none of that really mattered all that much in the grand scheme of things. I get why people really like that case. I really do. Because it, like, sets, it's basically the setting for the whole series. Like, it's that inception. And I do think a lot of the characters are great. I like Gustavia, especially how he turned out to be the murderer. I liked Delisha. I liked Jeff Masters. I liked Catherine Hall. Like, all the new characters I actually did like. Oh, yeah. And, uh, but again, yeah, it was too long. It could have been done better. And it would have been a better case as a result. So a lot of people like that as their favorite. I would say that's the weak link case. That's the weak link case. And then case four. Case four is also like definitely on the weaker side, and it's kind of hard to separate it from case five because they're so interconnected. But I really like what they did with that. Um, the case of lost memory thing didn't fall into the traditional amnesia trap, where it's just like, oh, the person lost their memories. You got to figure it out. It's more like, oh, we kind of already know who she is. We like. It's more just like, what are the circumstances around her losing her memory? That's. Yes. More and it it didn't feel like Kay's Kay's lost memory really dragged the case down a whole lot. Like if her memory had been intact, it really wouldn't have changed a whole lot. Yeah. And I also I like memory loss K way more than regular yes. K. Yes. Memory loss K Agreed. was a better assistant and more useful to the story than K with her memories, which sounds terrible. No, it's but true. But one of my only complaints with this game is K sucks. She yeah. doesn't do anything. Yeah. She's you literally you could cut her out of the game as long as you had a little thief like the entire game would basically be the same. Yeah. One of my few complaints of it. Uh, yeah, this is the case where you start seeing the character development behind both Sebastian and Courtney. I like Courtney right from the get-go just because of her theme music is so good. Sebastian, I was like, oh, he's so annoying. But now I'm like, oh, I feel so bad for this kid. <laughs> um, Blaze is a great villain because the fact that Blaze is evil came as a surprise to nobody. The yeah. real twist is just how evil, evil he, he was. was. Which is great, because you basically meet him, you're like, yeah, he's the killer. And then you're like, wait, oh my gosh, he did he this too. Wait, he killer. did this? Oh my gosh, whoa. So I'll just say this. Blaze is single-handedly responsible for basically all of the trouble you see in the entire series. 
So I just want to, so going back to the yeah. third case. So, like, Gustavia killed Isaac Dover. Isaac Dover was a massive butt. I don't want to say he had it coming, but, like, he was... Uh, he was actually... I thought he was worse than Gustavia was. Okay. Like, because, again, he was basically like, oh, like, hey, Gustavia, let's team up and work together. And then it's like, yeah, it sucks to be you. I'm going to backstab you and, like, and take the win. reward for myself. Then he, like, catches Gustavia, like, oh, you have a taste disorder? That's hilarious! Punches him. <laughs> then it's like, I'm gonna, you're going to pay me money if you don't want me to tell everybody. He also he was also abusive to his own son. Yeah. And Cat, his son, kidnapped Gustavia's son for no reason other than pure spite. Uh-huh. So, like, yeah, he kind of deserved it. And that it. messed up Simon Keys as a result. Well, more so than that. So, the IS-7 incident would have just been, like, a normal case if it weren't for Blaze. Because Blaze was the one who basically hid the fact that the body was missing from even Von Karma. So Von Karma didn't yeah. even know it was missing, so he's just like, well, Masters is guilty, and then it's like, oh, nope, actually, the Von, body was missing, missing, and Blaze made a false, like, uh, forgery, like, a false evidence report, or a false autopsy false, report, gave it to him. False forgery. Okay, that, and he, Blaze, had, the only reason Blaze did that was just, like, because he could, essentially, because he's like, I'm powerful, haha. If he had not done that, I, I just want to point this out, if he had not done that, Jeff Masters would not have been declared, like, guilty for 18 years, DL6 would never have happened. Von Karma would never have gotten a penalty. Deal sex would never would have happened. Edgeworth likely would have become a defense attorney and not a prosecuting attorney. Phoenix Wright would never have become a defense attorney and likely would have been lifelong An friends. Art site. He An probably art would have been an art student with Valeri and they would have been lifelong friends. The Faye family would never have gone into like exile, so yeah. their family would have still been fine. Dahlia probably would never have been dumped off at like the temple area. At the bridge. So she probably <laughs> wouldn't have committed all those crimes. Oh, what, like what else? Like Morgan probably wouldn't have like been tried all these as, coups. Yeah. Like, Mia never would have died. Red White never would have, like, gone after her. Simon would never have been, like, horribly messed up. Like, yeah. literally that, that one, one action spread out everything. to, like, everything. Yeah. And it all goes back to Blaze. Blaze is also implied to have, like, been part of the smuggling ring from the first case. Or that from the first game. That doesn't surprise me Because he had all of the evidence from that in his area. And just, like, right from the first game, you're just like, man, the prosecutors are really corrupt. Like, he's kind of the, the rock. He's that... the rock behind it all. And it's it's really good. And it's so satisfying taking him down. Then fifth case. Fifth case is second favorite case in the whole series. The only reason I like it not as much as the third uh, Bridge Final. to the Turnabout. Bridge to the Turnabout wraps up three games very well. This only wraps up one. And also, a lot of the parts with, like, the movie studio were a little slow. Like, it had a bit of a slow beginning. But it picked up super, super well. Simon Keys is my favorite villain in really? the Ace Attorney series. Really? Yes. And okay, because okay, he's he's the only I would say, I'd say he's the only truly sympathetic killer in the whole series. Because like you can't blame him for like what has happened to him. He's had all these horrible things happen to him for no fault of, fault of his own. Like his best friend tied him up. He almost died in a snowstorm. His dad totally abandoned him. He thought his dad was murdered. He was in this orphanage where like terrible like. The People. Patricia, who is like constantly like brutally Dogen interrogating him. Dogen saves him, him. like his Dogen, one like, saving th grace. Is an assassin, yeah. So like you can't blame him for not trusting anyone. You can't blame him for really harboring a grudge against Knightley. And you can't blame him for trusting Dogen. Right, and Simon Keys, he won. Like even though he got arrested, he won. He wanted basically he wanted revenge on Knightley, which he got, and he wanted to bring down this conspiracy with the president and Blaze and Patricia, and he did that. And like, All of them. and the only thing he got arrested for was murdering the president, and that was justified self defense because the president was shooting at him. So he's not going to jail for super long, and he's going to jail with Dogen essentially. So he'll probably be with Dogen, and then eventually he'll be released, and hopefully, hopefully it can be like a normal person. Yeah, goes to therapy. Hopefully, he'll become a normal person. He did win. That is, and, yeah. And another thing, Simon is like. He's a truly unique villain because, like, think of all the main villains behind, like, in the past. Like, Van Manfred Van Karma, super intimidating and a very prominent, powerful prosecutor with, like, huge knowledge of the law, a lot of influence. Simon Keyes is just da a normal da person. Yeah, Damon Gant was, like, chief of police and had the whole prosecutor's office in his pocket. Matt oh, Ongard, yeah. super rich and had all of his acting fame. Dahlia had bewitchingly good looks and could charm literally any Anything. male that she wanted. Mm -hmm. Christoph Gavin, super respected defense attorney with like a lot of legal power as well. Quercus Alba, diplomat to for and a foreign, former, like a uh, foreign ambassador and lead of a smuggling ring. Simon Keyes, clown at the local circus. Yeah, literally. And, and just with his intelligence he, and his cunning and his like manipulation, he brought down an entire government conspiracy. It's insane. Okay, now that you put it that way, <laughs> I do like that a lot more. Yeah, he's he's such a good villain, and I also. Yeah, one, I guess one final thing to wrap it up. The whole theme of this game is basically parent-child relationships. Yes. And you see that a lot. So, like, 
Edgeworth and Kay are basically like father and daughter. Yeah, basically. They have that kind of relationship. Uh, Courtney and Sebastian slash Courtney and her son. You've got Gregory and Edgeworth as well as Gregory, Gregory and Raymond. And Ray. Even like Detective Bad and like Gumshoe, they mm-hmm. had a, a little bit of that going on. And then, of course, you've got the bad father-son relationships, of which there are a lot of, like, uh, Isaac Dover and Knightley, Simon Keyes and Gustavia, and, and then, then Sebastian, Sebastian and, his, and father. his father. And that's, that's for me, is one of the most brilliant things about this, because, um, hang on, <laughs> you might be wondering, like, why of all players, like, Sebastian is on the front of the final case when he was really only in the first part of it. It's because Simon is, like, the one character who like had a truly horrible dad who actually like turned out okay because like knightley had a horrible dad knightley had a horrible dad and he basically became like a scumbag murderer simon had a horrible dad and he basically turned crazy into a scumbag murderer he had the worst dad of them all like si- sebastian had the worst dad of them all and instead of basically turning out just like him he like rose above it he was basically like i'm not gonna be like my dad and that's why it's so brilliant like yeah it's it's a masterpiece it's of a really game. Good. It's so freaking good. <laughs> Again, really, my only complaints with this game: K is useless. Not enough gumshoe. Like gumshoe is kind of absent for the yeah, last two cases. Yeah, I, I did not like that. One of the things is like Wayne is featured prominently on the first game and the second game. Wayne has only really been in four cases across these two games. Games. He made like a two second cameo in the second ca- uh, case of this game, and then uh, in the fourth case of the first game. And then he was in the fifth but case. I, he's all right. I like him. He's he's fine. I like all the new characters, but a lot of the... I feel like this is the game where they're just like, who haven't we brought back? Well, we haven't brought back Penny. We haven't brought back Regina. Uh, we haven't... Br- I guess we'll bring back Will Powers again. Let's bring back Lana again. Like, none of the characters they brought back I really liked. <laughs> but it's okay because the new characters... They didn't even bring were... back Old Bag. Yeah. Anyhow, that's my long-winded rant on why I love this game so much. So... Games as a whole. Series as a whole. Series as a whole. I have ranked my games. I have also circled all of my favorite cases from each game, and that is how I ranked them. Okay. So I did not necessarily rank them by entirety as a whole, because other than this game, a lot of the cases don't necessarily interconnect. Right. So here is my tier list, uh, and everyone will get mad at me. My uh, should I go from the bottom up? Sure. What's your least okay, favorite? Okay, least favorite is Edgeworth 1. <laughs> yes, that is fair. Least that is also is my least one. favorite. The only two cases I kind of liked were the airplane case and um, uh, Callisto U in, in, the flashback. in the flashback. I loved the flashback, flashback case. case was the only one I liked. Really, really good. I liked the airplane case because, again, my favorite part about these games is when you have really weird, kind <laughs> of kooky characters that are doing crazy <laughs> Who are high things. as a kite Who, or yeah, high as an airplane. Or like, super, or like super sleepy or like super weird. So you probably I, liked the nurse lady in this game. I did. I liked her a lot, yeah. actually. She was one of the um, few original characters I didn't really those like. Those were like the only two cases I really liked. Liked. I didn't really like the basketball case that much because I don't like Maggie Bird and no. also the case. That like, case was so boring. That was the worst of all the first And here's cases. the problem too. That is the opening case to this new style of gameplay where it's like, you have to investigate. It's like, um, this isn't f- that fun. And then you get to the later <laughs> cases, you're like, okay, okay, okay. Um, the third case was not that great. No. I did not like it that much. Literally, no, the, only, no, no. the only case I like in that game was the fourth one. The fifth one had some cool parts, but it was so long. It was long. so long. I was like, can we be done with that? That's another, I guess, uh, that's another thing. The final conflict with Simon Keys is way better than the final conflict of Quirkus Alba in the last game. All right. Way better pacing. All right. The next three are kind of, uh, cl- or the next two are kind of closer together. Fifth is Apollo for me. Yep. Yep. Same. Fifth is Apollo. Same. I really liked the first case a lot. Yes. I thought it was interesting. I, I thought really it was very case. unique. I thought that the characters were unique. Again, epic plot twist in the first case. Cool First start. time that happened. I don't like Wesley Stickler. No. I don't like was, that entire case. That case is the worst. You and that to, is actually the worst. You, there's like the noodle man, and then there's Lil Plum, and there's like... She hey, was good. I didn't really like that case. Again, interesting characters... But it was so weird that I and didn't like too it. Too much underwear. Too much underwear. And I was not a fan. I loved the third case. With the Gavineers. I loved the Gavineers. So many people concert. hate it, but alright. I loved it because 
it took something so simple as, oh, you see this at the very beginning, a recording of this production, like not production, mm -hmm. of the concert. And there's like 50 million things in this that you have to pick out eventually and you don't oh, notice I hate, it. I hate that. I love that so much. Because <laughs> right, they're, no, they're putting that out at the beginning. You're just like, oh, this is a cool concert. And then you're like, wait a minute, there's a gunshot. Wait a minute, this thing happened. Wait a minute, the guitar ca caught on fire. So then all of this happened. Like, it's just cool to see mm -hmm. that from the beginning. Also, Emma Sky eating snack who i mean she was in the second case too but this is where oh, well, this her... is where we really remember her <laughs> i did like half of the mason system yeah i did like Turn half of succession. that case not my you, favorite you, didn't, you don't like the part with apollo and the art girl but you like the part with phoenix Wright. well yeah because it's phoenix Wright. i didn't like how they fixed phoenix Wright's character as well like i know why they did it I like, don't like that either. I don't and like that's it. That's basically something they kind of retcon. <laughs> With like the 3DS games? Yeah. Okay. He's okay. back to normal. Because people were like, we don't like Phoenix. Boo, well, boo, it's, it's boo. I think the, my problem with that is, like, I'd be okay with him being, like, really weird after the seven years, because you can change a lot in seven years. Yeah. It's more just, like, when you play as him in the present in the Mason system, he's exactly the same, even though he acts totally, totally weird different. to Apollo. It's, yeah. Oh, uh, Trucy was fine. Trucy was better than K, but Trucy's I mean, she's K. still one of the worst assistants. Trucy, though, is also kind of like the here's my magical panties. And I'm like, can we yep. not? Um, number four, this has actually changed a lot since the first time I played, is um, Phoenix Wright 1. Yep. For me. That's also the same for me. You have the I exact same with I really, me, really like the game. I want to put it higher. The problem is, I don't like all of the cases. You really only liked the... You liked April May's case, liked and April you liked May's the case. Edgeworth case. I love the Edgeworth case. The Steel Samurai case is fine. It's all right. I think it's fine. It's not my favorite one. Frank saw it is so short. You could beat that thing in 15 minutes if you yeah, really wanted to. Yeah. Um, Damon Gantz was so long. It was yeah, so, I know. And it was also one where I was like, he's the killer. Why are we taking so long? Why are we taking so long? Like, I Lock know <laughs> this is the case. Any guy who stares at you for five seconds before responding is a killer. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. Seriously, not not a fan. But I loved, I think it's because, again, this was the first game, and April May's case was the first case where I was like, I can have some fun with this. Yeah. Very interesting characters. Um, and Yeah, for, for me, the first game, each case gets better than the last. I wouldn't argue with that. Well, the, you the, would you would argue the Edgeworth case is way better for than the, the Damon Gant yeah. case. Uh, the Edgeworth case, though, it's like it goes from a simple like Edgeworth killed someone, real <laughs> simple. Like it goes like from oh, there's like a dude in the boat, and then it goes from like oh, this guy jumps off the boat with his tank and then shoots someone while Larry's listening on the headphones, and mm -hmm. then like it's Christmas Eve, yo, <laughs> on the radio, and then it like flashes back. That's how you do a flashback case. Yeah. You you figure out It's things. like incorporated. It's incorporated in. in. Well, I mean, so is the flashback case. Also, we got this. tased. Just, yes, we did. That was intense. Mm -hmm. Um, I hadn't talked about any of the prosecutors yet, have I? Shoot. No, we really haven't. That's because the first game, the, the sixth game, there's no prosecutor because you are the prosecutor. Well, Apollo's I mean, the prosecutor would be Sebastian. Actually, I'll talk about the prosecutors after. Never mind. Okay, yeah. So, third favorite. Third favorite. Phoenix Wright, three. Trials and Tribulations is your third, fa third okay, that's favorite. Okay, that's where our, our preference is Third favorite. Different. I really like a lot of the cases in here. They're th four out of five. That's pretty good. That's really good. That's pretty good for a lot of the cases. Only one game doesn't ha has better than four out of five for me. Uh, which one is that? This one. This one? This okay. has five out of five. All of them are great. I don't me. think any... I'm trying to think if any of them have four out of five for me. There, there, is, there is one that I have all of them I really like. I know which um, one it is. <laughs> probably. Yeah, the third one, it starts with, like, a Mia case. You're like, this is cool. This is different. I like this mm. opening case. Especially when you compare it to the first two games' first cases. <laughs> and then um, the second one, this is the first time that it's not like, oh, somebody died by I blunt force trauma to the head. <laughs> like, this is the first time where it's like somebody's something stolen. We have to find it. I just oh, wish, yeah, second case. I just wish yeah. that our emulator didn't um, spoil spoil who it was. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dumb that our emulator did, <laughs> did that. I was like, I wonder. So, gee, I wonder who silhouette that is. It's supposed to warp the silhouette, so it's hard. E okay, even if the silhouette is warped, it's still fairly obvious because it's like, well, it's someone with spiky hair. Hmm. He's right. <laughs> no, so it really didn't. Spoil I did that like much, that one. But... I liked Trabion. It's weird. There's I liked Trabion characters. recording it with you. 
But like, it's it's a sucky case. I am I ranking these based on recording, okay. not by if I'm playing this by myself. I'm yeah, just gonna I think say your list would be much. very different. My list would be yeah. very different if yeah. I'm playing them by myself. But that's why you like a April lot of. Days. I was about to say a lot of these are based on fun times I've had with Artie, and then also just my general enjoyment as is with lots of different things that we yep. experienced. Yep. Um. What else was in there? Uh, Travion. The only case I did not like was Dahlia Part Two. Yep. Don't like that. That is one. because it honestly freaked me out to see the dude just die on the stand i was like this is unsettling i need to go like eat some chocolate and watch great british bake off yeah (laughs) like i'm not feeling good about this um but again you get really into like this this lady's sick she's she's twisted yeah, so twisted and so manipulative and you don't like her and it just goes further and further and it gets even better with the fifth case you have Phoenix Wright falling off a bridge, oh, and then fifth, you play as Edgeworth. The fifth case is best case. It's so it's good. Best case. And Francisca's in it, and um, I mean she's in other parts of the case. That too, case, but... uh, Bridge to the Turnabout, the final case of Trials mm-hmm. Tribulations. I literally have no complaints with it. it I is have flawless. no complaints with it either. It's not. It doesn't feel too long. No, every it's, conversation's it... important. Uh, the twists are insane. Yeah, insane. Um, and again, I. Loki, I personally feel that Simon Keys being the matchmind is the best plot twist in the series. That's me. Yeah. It, that's I, that's one of those twists where I'm like, it, it feels like it comes out of nowhere, but you're like, no, there actually was a good amount of foreshadowing to this. There and was. There have been people who have actually predicted it in advance. So, like, it is possible if you really think about it. For me, for all the, like, the crazy, one of the craziest plot twists was when you find out that Dahlia's channel, uh, Maya's channeling Dahlia. Dahlia, or Dahlia basically is forcing her to channel her. No, Maya willingly channeled her. Yeah, that was, like, so <laughs> insane. I love... Because for me, again, I wasn't... I was just playing this for fun, and so I'm like, oh, this is insane. But <laughs> I love like, how, like, the one part of that case you didn't like was the very end where you're like, Godot's the killer? This sucks. Yes! I was like, that's stupid. I don't like that. No, I forgot about him. There's a bunny. Oh, my gosh. There was a bunny that just ran through our yard. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I, I'm so, I'm so distracted. Important. I know. Second favorite game. Is Edgeworth 2. So everyone For by me. now knows what everyone your favorite is. Everyone by now knows what my favorite is. And do- I'll explain it later. Edgeworth 2. Really, really great. Everything flows together. I only hated one case, and that was the third one. Which was the longest one. Which is the longest one. Which if you... I'm thinking of this too, that if I was playing this, if I wasn't playing this with you... And you, we pro- were you probably it, wouldn't I would have never have beaten the game. I would have been like, this is so stupid, so long, so boring. I can't figure out what to do. I can't figure out where to go. It's very complex. Mm-hmm. Like, my brain couldn't comprehend. If you were like, please sum up the third case, I, I don't even really um, know what happened. Desserts. I'm like, desserts? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's dead in the ice. Like, that would be the only thing I could really yeah. talk about, justify, etc. I get that. I get if you really hated the third case, that that would put a huge damper on the it game as does, well. It does, especially since my number one game doesn't really have a damper. And I'll get to that. So we've already kind of talked about that. We already talked about Edgeworth 2. So let's It's a great game. (laughs) I would play it again, maybe, if I could just skip the third case. (laughs) My favorite Edgeworth... Not my favorite Edgeworth game. My favorite Phoenix Wright game is the second one. Justice for All. Justice for All. And I want to talk about... Which is most people's least favorite, but go ahead. I want to talk about why this is one of my favorites. For me personally, getting to record this game, I got to voice so many characters. Yep. And I had so much fun with it. The first case was so random. There were so many weird parts of it. I'm like, okay, Maggie Burt, whatever. I'll never see her again. She comes back. <laughs> twice. Like, twice. I'm like, are you kidding me? There's like the whole Mr. Wellington loves large bananas part. And again, I just want to note everybody that Marty uh, basically wrote a few words down to remind her of each case. This wor- The word she used to remind her of the first case of this game is just bananas. Bananas. That's all you need. <laughs> A lot of these, a lot of these are weird. Like Apollo's, the first one's just ooh da, because, <laughs> because, because of the lady, or like the second one's just underwear. So you know, but yeah, the second game, it had, it was the first time I was like, this is a better first case than the first game. Like this has some substance. I'm actually interested, intrigued, awesome. The second case, you loved that. I lo- I and love that case. It's so good. Again, I had so many characters to voice. Mm-hmm. I had so much fun 
trying to figure out what was happening because this was one of the first cases that I actually could kind of figure out what was happening with like the bullet in the box or yeah. the bullet hole there and like Morgan Fay drinking paint like yeah. she's <laughs> kind of evil you get introduced to Pearl yep she's so cute and Cyclops appears you in get this case Cyclops Cyclops is one of the best mechanics I think even though it's really difficult I really like Cyclops and Eeny Miney is one of my favorite villains. Wow. Not, be- not because she's the best villain, just because, again, Voice she either. has a reason to be doing what she's she, doing. Okay, me, actually, technically, Mimi Miney is also one of the few other characters who I'd say, yeah, sympathetic. She's killer. very sympathetic with what happens, especially when you think <laughs> this may not be what she wants. Neither of us brought up Acro, who is, tr- tr- who is supposed getting, to be the real sympathetic I'm getting killer. To Acro later. Acro is not sympathetic. We're getting but we'll to get Acro. Into that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Eeny Miney, Mimi Miney. That whole thing. That whole twist that where whole it's like she was actually me. super meaty. cool. I love that. That's that. A, for me, I'm like, that was like the highlight of the case for that's me. That's a big highlight. That was when Lotta Hart came in, right? That was when she first That's returned. when she first returned. She, she was in the Edgeworth case. She was in the Edgeworth case. Oh, yeah, Gordy. Shot the gun to shot the gun. Shot the gun to shot the gun. Okay, but yeah, E Miney, great case. And the other thing I want to mention before I go on to the circus case is this game has my favorite prosecutor. You love Francisca. I like Francisca. Because, again, not that she's justifying what she's doing, because she sure ain't. But nope. there's she's more sympathetic, though, given her father and all yes. the crap she's probably put up with from him. Also, female prosecutor, which means I get to voice her. True. I think it's a lot of fun. You can voice pain sometimes. Sometimes I can, but sometimes I sound like Toad. <laughs> <laughs> all right. The circus case. People hate it, but we like it. We like it. Come on. It's Mo. Most funny. I'll also say the Korean Village case. I liked it more after playing it with you. Okay, I, I can respect yeah. that. Yeah, circus case. Circus yeah. case. I was like, circus, huh? This is gonna be interesting. Oh, the ringmaster died. Pringles man died. <laughs> what are we gonna do without what? Pringles? <laughs> and then like again, all the characters are so weird. There are some characters I don't like. I don't like the ventriloquist. I don't dummy. like the ventriloquist. I oh no no okay. I like the ventriloquist dummy. I don't like the ventriloquist. Oh, the, 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 uh, I have a stutter. It's my personality. I'm hitting on a girl who's like less than half my age. I like Regina. I don't like the guys who like Regina. I will beat them up for her. So you don't like Max. And then the only problem I had with the circus case, because the circus case was super interesting and funny and unique, and like <laughs> everyone is of, like, no, it was no, it wasn't. Listen, we know we're weird. We're weird gamers. Mo okay. is a great character, and I will fight people. Oh yeah, I would fight people too. But if you don't like the circus case, I mean, I didn't like some cases that already liked. So, yeah, you know, you're entitled to your own opinion. But Which case did you... Oh, yeah, you didn't like Rise from the Ashes. Like I Rise love Rise from the Ashes. It was too long. And, and, I, I know, but you that unlike the third ge- case of this game, you yes. can't shorten Rise you from the Ashes. You cannot shorten that game. Also, Emma Sky is good. But anyway, the circus, circus case, the only problem I had was as soon as I saw Acro, I'm like, he did it. That's everyone's reaction. He did it. Well, that's, beca- that's because... Oh. <laughs> what? I was going to say, well, that's because for the circus case, one of the cool things about it was they were like, nobody had a motive to do this. Like... Who the heck did it? Like, because like everyone's just like the ringmaster was so great. Like, I can't believe he died. And like, it's it's not just like I bet one of them's faking it. Like, no, they all had like legitimate stories. One like, of yeah, them's the daughter. The, yeah, one, one of them's the daughter. Like, one of them. He's like, like it's because of him that I'm able to like pay child support for like my my kid. My kid. Like, that's great. I guess Trilo didn't Trilo really have didn't that, really but have a reason. I mean, he didn't have the mental acuity to kill to commit murder either. No, he didn't. This isn't Chucky. <laughs> but then it's just like Acro, like, I'm calm. I have birds. I came in at the end of he, the game. Oh, well, he in, did it. <laughs> he comes in like a Disney princess. He's like, I could not do anything because I'm in a wheelchair. I'm like, oh. <laughs> also, also, I'm very sympathetic. It's like you killed. You wanted to kill a 16 year old girl because you didn't want to talk to her about your feelings. Like that's <laughs> ridiculous. That's the only part that I didn't like. But again, bringing him down, bringing him to justice for all with the calmest breakdown with the ever, calmest breakdown like, well, ever. Well, good job yeah like that was so nice and then final case was insane i love the final case that has probably one of my favorite villains matt on guard is matt on guard you love to hate him you love to hate him and i almost guessed it that's, you the, almost one, did, yeah. that's the one that i really like where i was like i bet this guy has a scar underneath <laughs> his hair and you're like i was just like I think that's just his hairstyle, Marty. <laughs> it's so good. Because I was like, there's... And again, he's one of those um, villains where I'm like, you have no reason to be doing this whatsoever. You're just like he's doing it a self Well, no, he did. He actually did have a motive. Because, like, the guy who was he killed was going to basically, like, destroy his reputation. Oh, right, right, right. But, but again, 
other than that, he's just an actor mm-hmm. who's like, I can do whatever I want. And it's great. And then, like, John Doe just comes in and he's like, checkmate, you little bleep. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it's fantastic. And you really think it's Adrian. I You did for until the late into the first trial, I basically said, when she started, like, just completely mentally breaking. breaking. down. And you're like, this doesn't seem right. Or if it is, there's something else going on. Yeah. That maybe justifies it. But I, again, this is one of those games that it only has four cases, and I liked all four of them. And yeah. I would willingly play through that game again. Wow. All right. For sure. I love Pearl. I loved the character. The only thing I didn't like I like Justice the, for All as well. I like Justice for All. I'm sure that, like, that, most people don't like that one the best. That, so, that list is almost identical to mine. Like, the fir- I, so, for me, out of the games we've played, it, for me, goes from worst to best. Edgeworth 1, Apollo, Phoenix Wright 1, Justice for All, Trials and Tribulations, Edgeworth 2. Okay. This was my original list. The only thing I had changed was I put Phoenix Wright 1 at 3 well, instead of at 4. Well, I'm glad we had the chance to process this because I remember at the after we recorded the final episode, but before we recorded this, I'm like, so, what did you think of this? And like, I'm uh, like, and you, you were like, I'm not sure if I liked it more or worse than Edgeworth 1. I'm like, what? <laughs> and then I had to think, but I had to sit down and process everything. Right, right. And Which so makes sense. when I thought about all of this and I was like, oh, prison eat for free, like yeah. the assassination and like, a lot of these cases were interesting. And after I could go through and circle all the cases I liked, mm-hmm. that's where I was like, I have to put Phoenix Wright 2 up there because I like all four. That's every single yeah. case. The, and, like, Phoenix Wright 3 is so good. I only disliked one case. Phoenix right. uh, And, like, Edgeworth 2, I only disliked one really stinking long case. But the yeah. other ones were fantastic. It's more like the highest highs and the lowest low. Okay, and then okay a lot that's of, fair. And then a lot of them... Uh, Phoenix Wright 2, it was, like, more in the middle, but then it had some high highs, too. And see, for me, I'm like, this game doesn't quite have the highest highs, but it's close, and it has the highest lows as well. Because, again, the only game I I like every case. Because first game, I don't really like the first three cases all that much in the first game. Oh, Steel Samurai case is all right. I don't but the, mind. I do not like the first two at all. I don't mind the Frank Saw It case. It's just, it's so short and very simple compared mm-hmm. to the rest of the game. It's more like the tutorial case where it's like, do you know how to do this? No? Okay, check the court record. Like, right. it, it felt very simple. But for me, case four and case five are so good that it, it brings it above something like, say, Apollo, which yeah. only has two cases. I do want to say case like. five is a good case. And I you think, just didn't really like it that much. I don't, and I don't remember a lot of it right. at this point. Well, that, that's, and that's totally fair. That's You're, some of it. Uh, for Justice for All, I don't really like the first case. It's just kind of meh. I was... I'm not a huge fan of the second case. I, it's very important to the overall story, and I think it's a good case. I just personally don't like it that much. Was the first Edge, uh, the Damon Gant case, was that the one with the person who put the um, scarf in the in the yes. pipe in the yeah. car? Okay, that's not as bad as I remember. With the lunch name. lady. Oh, the lunch lady! Okay, I was wondering where she was in that. That yeah. makes more sense. I had, yeah. I'd forgotten about her. Uh, yeah, so for Justice for All, I didn't really like the second case, but I, I understand why people like it. Trials and Tribulations, I don't really like the fourth case at all, but I, again, I understand I like why it's absolutely case. necessary absolutely for the necessary. fifth case. I'm also not a fan of the Trial Beyond case. Again, I had a blast recording with you and doing all the weird voices, but that is not a good case. Like, it, it has such an idiot plot where it's like, oh, this random plot. guy who's, who's able to personate Phoenix Wright and nobody says anything nobody otherwise. Nobody expected a thing. <laughs> That that is annoying, and there were definitely some stupid things with mm-hmm. that. The guy who throws—I almost said throws birds. <laughs> no, that's Akra who throws birds. Victor Kudo who throws birds seed. Yeah, there and it has that weird characters. Uh, Apollo, I I hate Case Two. Case Two and Apollo is the worst case in the whole series for me. Oh, well, it's underwear case. It's. Mm, and like literally even so again even though apollo justice has three out of four good cases and the first game only for me has like two great cases i still like the first game more because apollo case like two apollo. is so bad and also you like the characters more in the first game than the yeah than it's, the apollo. it's true it's true and then edgeworth one oh man like i hate all of the cases except case four I want to like, and almost, then this one's amazing. I want to almost like rank the prosecutors as well. Oh, I can that. rank the prosecutors. You so. can rank them. I, I, I need to ones... know. Okay. I know who's number one on my on my list. I think I know who number two is as well. Okay, so well, I'm trying to think. Out of these, all out of all the games we have played, 
Um, I'm gonna put. I guess I'll put Winston Payne as my least favorite, just because he's meh. Oh, I no. forgot about Winston Payne. And are, also, are we counting the prosecutors that like we go up against in the Edgeworth games, even though they're not real prosecutors, like in court? Uh, give me an example of one. Basketball boy. <laughs> he's no, a prosecutor. No, you're I'm not, not count counting him. Okay, so we're not counting basketball boy or no. boys to best or Sebastian. No. Okay, so out of just the ones where we actually go up against them in court, yeah, Winston Payne is my least favorite. Uh, then Manfred von Karma. <laughs> I know he was only for one case, and I know he's hilarious to voice, but, like, oh, you hate going against mm -hmm. him. You hate him. What about Damon Gant? Uh, he's not a prosecutor. Oh, shoot, I forgot. Um, then I'd say Franziska, I know, sorry. That's okay. I don't like how she whips people. Why did I call her Fred? Fred the I prosecutor. Fred instead of Franziska. Um, then, like Fran. then Godot. I know people love Godot. Oh, I forgot about Godot. I know okay. people love Godot, okay, Godot. but I'm um, I'm gonna say no to Godot. Uh, who's the then Edgeworth? Ed, uh, would we would we include um would we include um Octoon Baby's brother, um, Kristoff. Yeah, would you include he's, him? He's the defense attorney. Oh, you're right. Uh, I feel like Edgeworth and Clavier are kind of tied for me. Oh, they're both. I see for for me. I really like Edgeworth because you know he's Edgeworth. Obviously, he's great. He's very very intelligent. But I don't like how much he trash talks you in court, even after his character development. He still kind of treats you like crap. Good Whereas girl. Clavier is like. Yeah, he's not as like a good of a prosecutor as Edgeworth, but like he's he's the only prosecutor who's like actually nice start to finish. Like any who genuinely wants to find the truth. And he's a rock star. Like how could you not like it? Agreed. But my my all-time favorite prosecutor is actually the prosecutor for the next game. Oh, see, that doesn't count for me cuz I can't Right, that. right. Um, oh, pain. And then my least favorite prosecutor is in the game after it. <laughs> By a I'm lot. To, I'm trying to think of who that would be then. I don't know. My Mine, I think, Payne's my least favorite. Understandable. You see him once, he stinks. He Somehow the judge still believes him, even though he's spouting nonsense. Uh, then Von Karma. <laughs> he died instantly upon hitting the ground, and then he wrote the victim's name. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, I don't like Von Karma. He just snaps at people too much and is very rude. By I think you mean I, Manfred. Yeah. Cause you're, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think I have Godot as fourth. Okay. Well, I, I, I know like, the girls are like, oh, Godot, he's so dreamy. Mm -hmm. it's like, I don't yeah, like, but he's, I don't like he's a butt. And so, like. His personality be stank. <laughs> yeah. He does sort of have a reason why he's acting dumb and stupid, but. <laughs> he's still acting dumb and stupid. <laughs> yeah, but still. Third favorite is Octum Baby. <laughs> Second favorite, Edgeworth. First favorite, Franziska. Yeah. All right, fair enough. I mean, because the, the top three, I'm like, I'm happy to have any of them be a prosecutor because they're just interesting, but they'll still listen to you. Or they're if they don't listen to you, they're willing to have the most ridiculous, like, animation, like, <gasps> like I can't believe you figured right. that out. I don't know. Again, this is all about how much fun I had with and no. that makes sense. Yeah, more so that makes than... sense why your rank are very different because you rank it based on how much you enjoy them. Whereas I kind of yeah. rank them on like how good they are. Yeah. Also with how much I enjoy them. So. There's there's a mix of how good they are, but I tend to look at other than maybe with Edgeworth two and maybe with Phoenix Wright three. All of the other ones, it's like what's happening. We have one case where we're like with problems. Russia and then there's another <laughs> one with like a dude with underwear. And then there's one where <laughs> we're in a French cafe. Like what is even happening? And so that one, it's like, I have to rank them individually oh. by episodes. <laughs> yeah. I also want to say, I'm so glad that the chef from Trabion did not return in case three of this game. That would have been very difficult. Cause Link and I, when playing it, we were both like, Oh no, is he going to return? If he's going to return, it's going to be in this case. It's going to be in case three. Thank goodness. Ooh la, ooh la, la. That's pretty much, I think covers everything. Yeah. I got, Oh, one final thing of yes. one, one last thing that makes this game. One of my favorites, mm -hmm. best soundtrack in the series. And is in this game. I hadn't even thought about the soundtracks. I would have, I, if, if you want, look up the soundtrack for this game, because a lot of it, I'm sure you weren't really paying attention to the music. It is a freaking amazing soundtrack. I remember listening to some of it. The soundtracks I mainly remember are just individual ones where it's like, if we were in a psych lock forever, I remember that music. Yeah. If we're in Logic Chess, I remember that music. If we're in the court, 
where we're just sitting there and we're thinking about what to do. I hear that music constantly. Yep. Or like the do 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 Like when it's like, what you gonna do? Yeah. When people are witnessing testimony, that uh, kind cross of thing. Cross-examination music. Cross-examination yeah. music. Um, in the Edgeworth games, I feel like I don't remember the music nearly as much. The, the first Edgeworth game didn't have bad music. It just was not quite as memorable. I Apollo, feel like... Apollo, I also don't remember the music. Apollo had some really good songs, but also a lot of songs that were just kind of eh. For me, it's Edgeworth 2, Trials and Tribulations, and then the 3DS games have freaking amazing well, the songs. the 3DS games, too, they also have, like, more capabilities to be amazing. True. Yeah, for me, it's Edgeworth 2 and then the second 3DS game, Spirit of Justice, have the best soundtracks. Spirit of Justice. I know people love Trials and Tribulations. I love Trials and Tribulations, too. Its soundtrack is just not quite as good, I would say. That's all the people who like Godot. Where they're like, well, no, theme. no. People... Ah! The irony is, I feel like Godot's theme is one of my the less good soundtracks from the game. I like just that's Bobby, how, I like it's not, Bobby's that, it's theme. not that I don't like it. It's that all the other songs are just that good. I really liked. Okay, you know the other theme I remember. Uh, Courtney. I, no, I like her son's theme. I was gonna say Moo oh, Boy. Oh, John Marsh. <laughs> Moo Boy's theme. Moo Boy's theme. <laughs> that, he's like that epic guitar dun, music. Dun, dun, it sounds like something that you'd hear in Roller Coaster Tycoon. <laughs> Like, rock theme four. Rock theme four. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, I think that's a great summary of our thoughts of this game and the thoughts of the series. And the previous games. Yeah. I'm excited to see if we can play more. Yeah, I um, would because I. Yeah. So spoiler alert: we're playing this on a DS emulator. In case you couldn't know by our like, oh man, I can't believe the gonna, emulator spoiled this. Bro, they're gonna report us to Nintendo and be like. They played the Lake game gasp. illegally. What? Goodness gracious, whatever shall we do? <laughs> Sound the alarm. Call, Call Scott Scott Yard. Yard. Nobody cares. I'm not a big YouTuber. Yeah. You are not. But 3DS emulation is not really a thing that sar it or it's extremely thing, limited. It really sucks. And I don't really know or want to install a capture card in my 3DS. No, you have to like take apart your 3DS. But Nice thing is I've looked it up, and I believe it's either on the Google Play Store or on the Microsoft Store. You can get the 3DS Ace Attorney games. The question is, do they run well, and can I record them? So, so I would, we have, would have to see on I that. would have to test that out. Otherwise, if we can, then we will probably be we'll playing those in the future. If we can't, then this might be the last Let's Play you ever yeah. see from me. What? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's foreboding. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm debating moving on to other fans. And again, we're yeah. recording this so far in advance. Think It'll about, be like think, three years later when people finally see this video. I don't even know. Nothing is definite at but, all. But this, if, if I had to pick like a game to go out with a big hurrah, this is a pretty good one. This is a pretty good one. Either that or I'll just be like, Ocarina of Time is my favorite game. I don't I'm care if there's like 8 million again. other Let's Plays. Yeah. We'll do that. Well, it's your channel. Play what you want. Exactly. You know? That's why I played Reader Rabbit's Interactive Mastery. <laughs> 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 Anyhow, thanks everybody for listening to us babble about our thoughts and on this amazing series. Try it out for yourself. I was about to say, we'd love to hear what you think. Yeah, leave comments leave below com of what you think of this game and what you think of the games in you general. Can, you can tell me if my opinions suck, but only well, no, if I can tell you no, no, your but opinions here, but suck. Here, but here's the thing. <laughs> Marty didn't say Justice for All is the best game in the series. She said it was her no. favorite game in the series. No. And that is 100% correct. I don't know what the best game in the series is, though. I would argue this is the objectively best game in the series. Okay. I, yeah, I, I'm not going to make a serious argument for that, but again, just the way the game is structured, the soundtrack, the animations, again, push the, free, the, yeah. push the DS to its limits. It's sort of like... the lack of sprites, where it's like, oh, Blaze isn't bald in this part. Oh, wait, Simon Keys before his transform, but he had the makeup on, only can smile creepily at you. It's sort of like, I liked the movie Hoodwinked, is it a good movie? Not really. Is Jingle the All the Way a good movie? No. no. Is it Is an it entertaining funny? movie? Yeah. Yes. It gets the job done. Yeah. Personal and preference. So, yeah. Personal preference is a thing. And, yeah. All right. Well. I hope you enjoyed watching us play this entire series. And if you've been with us the entire way, uh, thank you, first you off. Have, you have... Uh, you are a true you, valued subscriber. Well, I'm going to say, if you've <laughs> truly followed every episode from the start... I think you've earned a right to Artie's Platinum Club. It doesn't do I anything. I think you've wasted more hours than you probably should have <laughs> watching us. Oh, I, I learned Many Artie's, hours of I did life. the math. I'm like, my Clonod Let's Play is like probably 100 hours long. Just in or turn. more. Yeah, Clonod's really long. Yeah. Anyhow. Thank you for I, sticking I would say, around. I would say tune in for my next Let's Play. Hopefully there is one. Yeah. Otherwise, from the bottom of my heart. Thank, Thank you, you all for so, so much for watching along with me and for enjoying our banter. 
because seriously, this has been so much fun to record with you, Marty. Thank you. <laughs> it's been I had so a blast. such a blast. Anyhow, hope you guys have a great day and God bless. Thank you.